Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Dev's Kingdom. This is Jacob. In this video, we're going to introduce browser use web UI, which is similar to OpenAI's operator, and how to run web UI with open source models like QN 2.5, DeepSeek R1, so on and so forth. So, be excited? Let's get started. So, let's create a KO notebook on Kegel.com. And if you don't have a Kegel.com account, it's free, so just register and create a notebook similar to browser use web UI in this case. Then the first thing, uh, we're going to install Chrome because we're actually running everything in the notebook. So you have to install Chrome in the headless mode. So first you do an apt update, then you install a lib app indicator one and also the fonts liberation and also install the lib Vulkan one. And also like you have to do a double get, uh, for the, uh, Chrome dev package. And after that, make sure you do a deep package install with this, uh, Google Chrome. Uh, Debian package. After that, uh, you can check the Chrome version. Uh, in this case, it would be 132. And also, uh, you can also test the headless feature. So just specify headless and disable GPU and also print the page to PDF. So we will see basically this page is output to a file called output.pdf. You can see on the right side. So it's actually in here, output.pdf. So to show this content of the PDF, we can run these uh, functions, convert to base64, and also we'll convert everything to base64 and do an embed. So you can see this is actually what we tested. So it's google.com, so which works great. Then I will start install Miniconda because browser use need a Python 3.11. So, um, but the Kaggle doesn't support by default. So Kaggle has 3.10. So you have to install and conduct or other virtual environments. So then you will be able to map the 3.11 environment to the default uh, Kego environment. So in this case, we'll install Conda and do a dub get um, the Conda latest. After that, make sure you run this uh, mini Conda script. So you install everything in the Kego working mini Conda 3 folder. Then you will remove the script. After that, do a Conda init. So that's it. And then after that, make sure you build Python 3.11 conda virtual environment and do a conda create and also conda install so that's it after that the environment is created so you have to map everything from the virtual environment for python 3.11 to the default system environment so you will similar to this one so the python 3 have to map out to uh default python 3 and also the uh python 3.10 also needs to be mapped similar to everything that's uh, right in here. So after that, uh, do a pip map as well. So similar to uh, those lines in here. After that, I just add this uh, Python environment to the path and also uh, confirm that it is actually in the path. Then you have to uh, also update the system path to include this uh, virtual environment set packages. So, and also run a system path to see this package path ex exists. So that's it. So then you check all the Python versions, which is 3.11. And also uh, make sure all these paths are mapped correctly, which are correct. And after all the prerequisite is done, then uh, you can start install the browser use web UI. So first I do a git clone on the browser use web UI and then cd to the web UI then, and pp install all the requirements. After that also uh, we are using Chrome headless mode. So you also have to install play right and then run play right install, then install the fonts deja vu. So this is required because uh, Kego doesn't have that fonts. So if you run the web UI, it will error out. So make sure you install fonts deja vu. And so because of this line in here, so basically this supports um, all these fonts listed here. So you can see there's a deja vu. So that's why you can use this package to actually fix the issue with the Kaggle Notebook uh, web UI installation. So after that, make sure you install ngrok and also install the pyngrok and ngrok package and get the ngrok token from the ngrok console. You can register an ngrok account. It's, uh, and then you can get the token from there and also paste it in this line. And then you can map the uh, ngrok public URL, which is uh, E430 in this case, to localhost 77. 8, 8. So 
This is the one we've already spin up. You can see it's E430. So this is running right now. Uh, so after that, you can start running the browser use web UI. So then uh, first you go to this um, web UI folder and then run web UI.py. And the IP is localhost, a port is 7788. So this is where uh, we're going to map the public route to. So you can see right here. So then um, everything should start working. So which is the one you're seeing here. So first, um, you have to basically specify the LM configuration. So they have a list of providers. Um, we will use Alama for this demo. And you can choose DeepSeek, OpenAI. Um, so, but we'll demo this with Olama Q2.57B. So you can see uh, the base URL is the 5B29, which you already spin up in here. So if you have not watched my previous videos, feel free to check that out, how to set up a Olama a public instance with Kaggle. So uh, but already spin up. So you can see um, this public URL is available and you can see all the models that are installed. In this case, we start DeepSeq R1 14B and Q2.5 7B and also DeepSeq R1 8B. So you can try them all out by uh, specifying the model name here. So the default has Q2.5 7B. I'll try this one, which I already tried. And you can specify the uh, DeepSeq R1 8B or 14B here as well. And if you don't want to use the Llama, you can also uh, choose OpenAI. Uh, there's uh, a few uh, providers that have DeepSeq R1 available. And Hyperbolic is the one uh, that's available. And also there's another one, which is cluster.ai. They also specified in their header saying that they support DeepSeq R1 model right now. So you can also use their API uh, to try out this DeepSeq R1 model in the web UI. So but we're going to uh, demo this with Q1 2.57B, which works pretty good and very fast as well. So then after you set up this LM configuration, um, you can use this browser settings to spin up this headless mode. So make sure it's light headless mode. So because we're running in the notebook, so we have to choose this. And after that, you can also uh, enable or disable recording. So in this case, we'll uh, disable recording, um, but it can also enable recording, which you already did. And uh, after that, uh, you can start running the agent. So you can uh, specify a prompt, like one, like this default prompt here. So this is the default prompt saying, go to google.com and type open your uh, click search and give me the first URL. Uh, so you can see after I run this using the Q2.5 uh, 7B, the result is here. So there's no errors. The first result is openai.com. And also, if you go back to this Kegel notebook, you can see the steps that run through. So, right, there's a step one, step two, step three, and step four. So it runs perfectly and task is completed and created GAF at this agent history. So if you go back to the browser user web UI, uh, you can also see there's a trace file and agent history right here. You can download them, right? And also there's recordings. You can see how uh, this automation happened. So like for example, let's click this recording. It's about three minutes and you uh, just speed up a little bit. So you can see everything is being recorded. So it's gonna uh, basically open up the page, crawl all these different elements, and start uh, this automation process. Spin up a little bit. So you can see, this is trying to get the first URL of the search page, so which works perfect. So this is how you uh, set up this uh, browser use web UI with Kego Notebook uh, for free. So hopefully this is helpful. Uh, if you do like this video, Please subscribe, like, or comment if you have any questions. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, and see you in the next one.